February 24th, pastor is saying to us, your love for him. Our opening scripture comes from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14. For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead. The love Paul had for the Lord was the drive behind his overwhelming passion to preach, defend, and stand on the truth of the gospel. Read Galatians chapter 2 verses 11 to 13 of the New King James Version and see how he defended the truth to Peter. He said, Now when Peter had come to Antioch, I withstood him to his face, because he was to be blamed. For before certain men came from James, he would eat with the Gentiles. But when they came, he withdrew and separated himself, fearing those who were of the circumcision. And the rest of the Jews also played the hypocrite with him so that even Barnabas was carried away with their hypocrisy. In the 20th verse, he said, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. What a conviction. It was about his love for the Lord. Christ's love for us, which was demonstrated in his vicarious death, must elicit from us such love as Paul writes about here. And as John says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 19 of the New King James Version, we love him because he first loved us. How much do you love him? It's important that every so often you open your heart to him in prayer and tell him, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart, today and forever. This is what I want to do, loving you and doing your word. Your love for Jesus Christ means more to God than anything you could ever give to him. So, love him with all your heart and prove it in keeping his word. Please say this confession with me. Lord Jesus, I love you. I really do. With all my heart and forever. This is what I live for loving you and doing your word. I'm constrained by my love for you to preach the gospel and spread it with urgency around the world. Amen. For further study, please read John chapter 14, verse 15, 1 John chapter 5, verse 3 of the Amplified Classic, and 1 John chapter 4, verse 19. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Mark chapter 6, verses 30 to 56, and Leviticus chapter 25. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 17, verses 14 to 21, and Exodus chapter 5. Rhapsody of reality.